Well, um, I know you haven't heard about this because nobody seems to care enough about this. I'm not really sure why all of these people that consider themselves patriots and Christians, even if you're not Christian, this is beyond anything that should even be occurring. Let me say, before I get into what, what's happening, if you're sitting in your house and coward and all this, just terrified of, well, the government might arrest me and all of this, and you're not trying to make a plan on what you can do, well, you've essentially already lost the, the test that this very well could be. So, if you didn't watch my videos about the pastor at one of our local churches in Baton Rouge that um, is being ostracized and they're just being completely insane, even going as far as writing up a petition to have him arrested, that's not even... That, I mean, that's bad, and but it gets worse, and this isn't what the media, of course they're not telling you. Um, a few of the people that go to that church were fired from their jobs for going to church. I told y'all, people said, oh, it's only going to be a couple weeks, why can't people just wait a couple weeks? I told you. This was not about a couple weeks. There's a lot more going on. And if we don't stand up for these little people, they're going to see, oh, yep, they're not going to push back, so it doesn't really matter. And they're going to continue taking our rights away. How do I know that there is more to this? Well, you can look at a few of the channels on YouTube and some other things that are going on that people aren't seeing. There are videos being removed that have been years old being removed that speak uh, badly about Satan. You can't speak badly about Satan in this degenerate world anymore not only videos because I know people are gonna say that maybe that was an accident with the AI sure maybe um, but it, it's occurred on a few channels that have spoken about revelation the book of revelation and about Satan and, and just normal things that they talk about uh, Alpha and Omega channel Honest News Network and Adam Sherrington, but Adam Sherrington, it went even above and beyond that. He wrote a couple books uh, with his opinion of decoding the book of Revelation, and his book has been on the Amazon website for years. Right after all of this corona hysteria happened, his book was removed from Amazon. His books, they can no longer be bought on Amazon. But I guess these people that pretend to be YouTube pastors don't have enough time in their day to speak up for someone else. Even if you're not Christian, this is a First Amendment right. And I know you people that are emotionally driven are thinking, but they're going to get someone sick. Really? I've been to Walmart every single day since this occurred just to see how many people were there. 
and not just Walmart, a few other of the big box stores that were their CEOs were at the White House and they're being touted as heroes. They're busy, as busy as can be. There's no social distancing going on at Walmart or at Costco or at Sam's. Nope. They get to do whatever they want. Are people being fired for going to Walmart, Costco, or Sam's? Of course not. See, and that's how they do things. They take out one person and then another and then, oh, they probably won't care about this person. You can't pick and choose. You either stand up for the Constitution or you just bow down. No one is forcing these people to go to church. No one's forcing anybody to go to Walmart. So where's the difference? What makes it different? That it's a big deal that this church is continuing to stay open. Actually, they were having service outside, yet CNN, MSNBC, CBS and a few other channels have taken it upon themselves to over and over do video uh, articles and videos about this church. What's going on? I mean, my real question is why is no one else saying anything? And you can't tell me Oh, because they don't know because I've messaged many of them the only person that I know that has talked about it is high impact flicks and Florida McKee said some things about it and he's fine he he knows what he's doing I'm sure he has a plan up his sleeve but you see what I'm saying they know you're not gonna and, and you're you're part of it the messages that I'm seeing from Christians that are not standing up for him, if every store in this state was closed down, I could understand it. If the mail was shut down, I could understand it. But with our, uh, let's see, the mayor of New Orleans not even taking responsibility for the irresponsible having Mardi Gras and Nobody says anything about that. Nobody's condemning anybody for going to Mardi Gras. I was condemned for not going. Oh, I can't believe you're not going to take your kids there. Oh, well, uh, really? Oddly enough, that's exactly where the most cases are in New Orleans. And yet the mayor won't even take responsibility for it. But I'm glad our people in DC had the time to sign into legislation 5G and write a five trillion dollar stimulus package. Five trillion. 340 billion of that is going to the American people. That's it. 340 billion out of six, five, five point something or six point something trillion. So my plan is to be at service tomorrow to stand in solidarity with them at that church. Uh, and I want y'all to listen to a beautiful song that the pastor wrote or sang for them. It, and, and it really is disgusting whenever I see people saying, oh, this is about the money. It's about the money. You have no idea. He runs a food pantry. Well, their, their church does. And they do all these other things for the city. Besides that, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is compare Walmart, Target, and all these other places. How is it different? How is it different? At least Brother Tony had his service outside.
but I guess most of these Christian YouTubers just will bow down just like they will bow down for the mark or whatever but please worry about my shirt because I know that's what you're gonna do oh can you dress appropriately please don't I will delete your message you're I, I will I'm fed up with it you people are bowing down to this base system that they're rolling out and you want to worry about my tank top it, it really boggles my mind I never thought Americans would bow down so easily to a virus that has infected 0 0.00012 percent of the population. It's embarrassing. It really is. Oh, but you'll you'll get that twelve hundred dollar check, huh? Yeah. Oh by the way, if you don't have a checking account already registered with them, a direct deposit registered with the IRS, you're not gonna get that check for at least four months. a great deal they made right twelve hundred dollars for your freedom because yeah so many people are dropping dead right all right let's listen to that song dedicating the song to all of you connected with life tabernacle church you lost your job because your face was seen in our sanctuary. Sir, ma'am, this song is for you. Take courage. You don't have to work. You don't have to be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last long. Your life is in 
God's hands Through Jesus you can take it Through Him you're gonna stand No matter what may come your way Your life is in God's hands